immediate benefit, immediate benefit. That's what we really looking for. <laughs> Something that is not far off in the future, immediate right now, to every moment, to what we feel at the moment. Something practical, right? We don't want something like, okay, in, in a week or in, in a year or when we, we are 40 or 70 or before we die. Immediate benefit in the moment, in our own circumstances. And the training is um, making that obvious, that immediate benefit is something that is available every moment. Open intelligence, is immediate benefit. Open intelligence is at the basis of everything. You stop thinking for a moment, you can all do it. Stop thinking for a moment, what remains? The clarity, openness, alertness, cognizance. There is, it's unavoidable. The power to know is unavoidable to us. The power to know what is looking, the power to know what's feeling. That's the power to know. You, you just recognize that, right? That power to know otherwise, the power to know that I don't know. What is that? What is thinking? I don't know. <laughs> it's open intelligence. Everything is um, at the basis of, of open intelligence. And, and in a short moment of open intelligence, so that was just the introduction like you heard before and right here. It's just to introduce ourselves to open intelligence to what is at the basis of everything, what is unstoppable, always present, always there, and uh, what is aware of everything. And um, then we have all our thoughts and emotions, and they are inseparable from open intelligence. Thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, everything is inseparable from that open intelligence. It, can you separate that really? How can you make it separated from your own knowing? The power to know how can you separate your thoughts and emotions. So to see that it's crucial and the inseparability, it comes about in, in our instinctive recognition. In our instinctive recognition, it's just like that. What's looking through your eyes, what's listening to these words, what's feeling, what's sensing. And the short moments practice short moments repeated many times until it becomes continuous it's a, it's a very profound practice because by repeating these short moments of recognition of open intelligence you see that everything is inseparable from open intelligence so short moments of complete relaxation like complete relaxation for resting naturally body and mind just for an instant and then again we get tense again or we think about something or we label something, we assume something. A situation is coming about, the person is annoying, we are irritated, we are uncomfortable, we feel sleepy, we feel awake, we are in love, jealous. And again, whenever we remember, effortless, remembering short moments of complete relaxation, oh yes, I can relax. I can take a short moment, I can relax right here and the immediate benefit comes about, the immediate benefit to yourself where you are not wrapped up in your stories, labels or whatever it is and the immediate benefit to everyone where you not <laughs> magnetize everyone, everyone to your stories or to your complaints or to your situation, you are just remaining open, fresh and new, open to each moment as it is. Every moment is it responsive, responsive. You know, of course, things are happening in our life. It's not that we just like not interested in every, anyone or anything. Like your share there, it's so clear that our mind is so vast. We feel everything, we feel everyone. We can relate to, to everything that is happening. We're not cut off. We're cut off when we emphasize our own data streams. That's where we can't relate. We cannot understand. We feel confused or we feel doubtful because we don't have that assurance in ourselves of, of the indestructible open intelligence. But by maintaining these short moments of open intelligence, what happens? It, it becomes longer. Like a short moment suddenly becomes longer in a powerful way. You see that you 
just feel like taking short moments. You want the short moments. You really want them. You don't want to harm yourself anymore. You don't want to harm anyone else. You see the benefits in your life, in relationships with your family, with people you speak. You see how it comes about. That's what I saw for myself. How by these powerful short moments, I'm able to be more relaxed, more stable, um, responding to a situation. Inseparable from feeling everything, you know, it can be, it can be anything. It can be anger, it can be desire, jealousy. But again, short moments makes it so clear that it's inseparable that we can allow that to be as it is. Or the labels or the assumptions, the memories from the past. Right here, right now, again. Again, that's what is interesting. That's what is responsive to what is needed. That's what will bring great benefit to all. The labels, the memories, I'm not sure if that will bring great benefit right now. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a story. It's like a dream. It's not really there, right here. So to get real with ourselves, to, to have that assurance within ourselves, you know, it's, it's just needed to have that assurance within, within ourselves that we are unflinching that people can rely on us, that people can count on us, that people can trust us when they speak with us. So we, we maintain what is indestructible. We maintain what is always stable, always on. We don't want to maintain our thoughts and feelings because they are just all over the place. <laughs> I mean, just like, take a minute and look at your flow of the data streams. It, is it stable? Does it remain as it is? Can you keep it positive, please? <laughs> or can you keep it negative? Or is it always negative? It is always positive. You know, we, we, we cannot really um, rely on the data streams. Data streams is everything we perceive. We cannot rely on that. If we rely on that, it's such a mess. It informs actions that we feel regret <laughs> of acting in certain ways. Sometimes not, of course, but many times, yes. And so to rely on open intelligence, it's, of course, it's new, but that's okay. You know, we hear something new and we open to that. It's about time to hear something new and then to, to live a life that are of great benefit to all, that to make that decision within ourselves and commitment to live a life for the benefit of all. And that, that is my, my commitment. I'm, Many of us here are so committed to that, to live a life that are completely of benefit to all, to be powerful within ourselves. So, of course, the, with the pride and arrogance of prestige, we, we look at people and we may feel uncomfortable or we feel like we're powerless and limited. And I felt that many times, like not having enough gifts and talents, feeling powerless, feeling like I don't know enough, or feeling stupid, or feeling like I'm unable to learn certain things. And making myself small, <clears throat> over and over again, making myself small and believing that label, that I'm small, or making assumptions, oh, I cannot be small, but then not never like, making that happen. You know, like making to myself a list of today, that's what I will be. I will do this, I will do that, but then having that limitation of really believing that I can or having tiredness or uncomfort or social anxiety or fear or hope and then stopping there, not able to move further. But then in open intelligence, these emotions can be the same, but you move forward with complete power and empowerment and openness, because you know that these data streams, they can just flown by. They can flown by like a line drawn in water. They can flown by like, um, like a flight path of a bird in the sky, leave no trace. They, they are inseparable like the heat and the fire, inseparable like that. And also the breeze in the air, inseparable too. So the data, it becomes obvious that the nature of the data is, um, is pure. There is nothing there. It's like you cannot really grasp it. You cannot really find it. Give it to me, you can't. You, you cannot show it to me. 
or to anyone, not only to me, but you cannot show it. So to relax over and over again, to completely relax the need to label, to describe, to make up stories, to indulge, to replace. You said there is a tension even if in saying these words, replacement, indulgement, avoiding our data streams. Allow it to be as it is, it's simple. <clears throat> and sometimes it sounds so simple, but it's quite profound. It's very profound. And if you open it up, please test it because it will bring such benefit to your life and to the life of everyone around you. And you can stand assured in that in situations where people speak different things or complaining or thinking that they are a victim of the data because I don't see anyone as victim anymore. You know, I see everyone as powerful human beings. Not because I want to see people as powerful human beings, because that's how I see it instinctively in myself. And that's how I see everyone else. Allowing myself to experience all the afflictive states, all the feelings of being small or feeling arrogant, feeling prideful, feeling so afflicted that, you know, I, I don't want to feel that anymore. But allowing that to be as it is, you set free yourself from this prison of thoughts and emotions, thinking that it means something. So short moments, many times, you see for yourself the, the, the unfolding of great benefit and staying put in your own power, seeing your own gifts and talents. You're available to see your own gifts and talents because you're not anymore collapsing to your thoughts and emotions anymore. Less and less thinking about what you need to fix about yourself, fix about other people, allowing yourself to be as you are, allowing others to be as they are. Complete relaxation. Coming here, listen to the talks and relaxing over time, feeling, oh, it pervades everything in my life. It's true. I like that. It's natural to me. Doing a training, a one-day training on Saturday, then you read a text that is mind-blowing, like really amazing. If you open to listen, to read, you see exactly the words that speaks to your heart. And then you settle into a life of benefit because what we're interested in is a change. A change that is, uh, first of all, natural for all of us, not something that is far off. And a change that is real and bring benefit to everyone. So we all take responsibility for our labels, assumptions, or our pride or arrogance, or situations where we feel like we want to suit someone with the data. Now we stand up and we we bold with what we want to state. We want to be of great benefit, so we are supportive in this way. You see, our commitment is so supportive and brings great assurance to everyone to know, like we speak up here and we speak up everywhere in a loving, open way, in a way that is natural for us. <clears throat> 